Hey, what's up guys? It's me, Omar, from buymeaniphone.com. Today I have another new product I want to show you. This is a product that was sent to me free for review by Microvision, and it is the Microvision Show WX Plus Pico Projector, and this is a laser Pico Projector. Now guys, I've reviewed the Pico Projector before in the past. It was a little bit larger than this one, and I was kind of let down by the, the brightness and the quality um, and the overall features of that projector, but I have to say I've been really impressed with the Show WX Plus and the features it can, uh, it can output. So, let's start off right off the bat, guys. This is a laser Pico projector, which means it has much better quality, much better clarity as far as colors and brightness goes. It features, uh, it outputs 15 lumens, which is not very high, but considering the form factor and the size, it's very impressive. And as you guys can see, it's a, almost the same size as an iPhone 4 right here. So this is my iPhone 4. You put it together, it's almost, it's a little bit thicker, but it's about the same, same length, same size. It only weighs about 4.3 ounces, very lightweight. At the top here, it's all plastic, so the bottom part is like a rough plastic. This is like a shiny, nice gloss plastic right here. So 4.3 ounces, not bad at all. So this also features autofocus because of it is a laser projector. So you don't have to focus. You don't have to do any kind of manual focusing when you project this on the wall. It's always going to be sharp and clear whenever you're watching your videos. And so you can, it'll project a video up from 6 inches to over 100 inches in size. Of course, when you get to about 100 inches, you lose a little bit of quality in the, in the color. But it is able to output something that size. And I'll, I'll give you guys a demo of some of the... So how, the, how this actually projects on the wall pretty well in, in the dark. So uh, just one thing to keep in mind. So I already did an official unboxing of this product, and I'll, I'll put a link to that below if you do want to see the official unboxing, see all the different pieces uh, that come with this product. But I do have a couple of pieces here with me just to show you guys. So it does include the uh, composite cable here, and it's basically a, it has the proprietary plug on one end, and it has the VGA right there on the back. So you can plug it into your, your PSP, your camcorder, your DVD player, whatever it is. And to put on here, it also features the, a USB cord, so this you can use the USB to charge it. It has a micro USB on one end right there, and that plugs into the side right here. And the good thing about that is, is you can actually fully charge this up. It'll give you two hours of use, so you can watch a full movie on one full charge. Okay, if it does start to get low, it will flash on the screen that the battery's getting low, and you can plug in the wall charger, and you can watch the rest of your movie with it being plugged in the wall charger. Of course, you have to be close to a plug for that to happen, but uh, it is an option. It will run off of the wall charger. Okay, and best. Best, uh, best, best of all is that it does include a 30-pin connector, not very long cord right here, but a 30-pin connector so you can use it with your iPod, your iPhone 4, your I, I think all the iPhones actually, and the iPad as well. So you can watch all those on there. You can watch YouTube videos, you can watch Netflix, you can watch the, your, look at your photos, your videos on your, off of your iPhone, your iPod, or, or your iPad, all those different things. There's actually even a couple apps I believe that will work uh, when using it with the projector. So very cool stuff, very nice. They also do have a VGA dock, so if you don't want to plug it into your laptop and use it for uh, presentations, that type of thing, it's sold separately. It's uh, $50, and it's actually a little docking station, so you can pop it into there. And on the bottom of it, it actually has a uh, mounting screw, so you can mount it to like a tripod or one of those little tiny, smaller tripods, and you can be able to angle it up. This one right here, you're just going to have to lay it flat and kind of play with it. And depending on what type, what surface you lay it on, you may not have to do much adjusting. No, I mean, you just have to put, you know, the iPhone in front of it like that, and that's all you really have to do. So if you do want something that is a little more adjustable and be able to uh, be able to mount it and be able to play with the, the where it's pointing that type of thing, you could go for the VGA dock. Like I said, fifty dollars uh, will allow you to hook it up to your laptop, and it will give you the, uh, the ability to uh, add a uh, a tripod to it. Okay. So this also does feature a three point five millimeter jack right here in the back. So when you plug it into your iPhone or your iPod or your iPad. Um, you can put your headphones into here. You can listen to, your, listen to your headphones while it's being on the wall, or you can plug in some computer speakers in there, and you can listen to the audio that way as well. I actually tested this out the, the other day with my girls. We were watching Rio, and um, I was using my iPhone plugged into the bottom here for the video, and I was outputting the audio through Bluetooth to my uh, my iHome um, IA IA100 Bluetooth uh, speaker. So that was wireless. So you can even use wireless if you have Bluetooth. Uh, a Bluetooth device, so Bluetooth speakers around you, you can always do it that way as well. You don't have to get the audio out of here. It will uh, allow you to do it that way. So it's pretty cool. So as you can see here, there's a couple different buttons on the side. These are different uh, arrow buttons for the brightness and the adjusting different settings whenever you put it on the screen. I'll give you guys a demo of all the, the, the menu features and that type of stuff and whenever we go to the next video, to the next uh, next scene, I'm showing you guys some demo footage. That's where you plug in the, the charging there for the micro uh, micro USB. That's for the menu button, that's for your power button. On the back is the plug, that's what you use to connect the 30-pin uh, connector right here to the bottom of that, so that way you can plug into your, your iPhone or your iPad or your uh, iPod, okay? 
So that's pretty much it, guys. So far, uh, I've been pretty impressed with it. The quality is really nice. Let's go ahead and switch over to the, the other camera. I'm going to give you guys some demo footage of just some, uh, some pictures, some home videos. Uh, maybe I'll sneak in a YouTube video or two here and just kind of show you the actual quality and the size that this, uh, this little bad boy can put out, okay? So let's go switch over to the close-up camera now. So as you guys can see, the uh, the Microvision Show WX Plus P laser Pico projector is obviously a very impressive uh, device. I have to say I've been really impressed by it a lot, and so I think that you guys would, if this is something that you think you would be able to use um, on a regular basis for just watching videos with your friends or that type of thing, I think it's an awesome device. It retails for $319, $320 pretty much, and uh, I think for the, what it can do, it's, it's totally worth the money. Of course, other projectors that are much brighter, uh, much better quality would be way more expensive, maybe close to a thousand dollars, a little less than that. But uh, considering the fact that this is very pocketable, you could throw this in your bag, in your pocket, in your backpack, and you can have uh, you know a movie playing experience, movie watching experience, no matter where you are, as long as you have your iPhone, your iPad, or your iPod, that's pretty impressive to me. So three hundred twenty dollars, I believe it's definitely worth all that. If you think it's something you would uh, you would definitely use, so you guys can check them out on their website, microvision.com is the is the website. And uh, like I said, 319. So if you guys personally own this product yourselves, uh, if you've had any kind of uh, uh, any kind of good or bad experiences with it, I'd love to hear what you have to say. Please post your comments below. Let me know what you think. If you have any questions, post your comments below as well. I'll do my best to get back to you and let you know. And uh, I will see you guys in the next video review. Till next time.